I probably should have planned this a little bit better. Oh, oh, the bear is loose. The bear. What's up, guys? I'm BTC. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. I'm here on the Pooping Evolved server. There has been a brand new patch, and it released those things right there. No, not the poop. It released the dire bears. So I'm going to try to tame this. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you are new. Let's get to it. All right, so the thing about the bears is they're passive until you get too close to them. Like, they don't really care about you. But if you get too close, just like the Gigantopithecus, they will attack you. Or if you try to attack them, they'll turn around and just maul the crap out of you. Just <laughs> just like the, like the Dillo right here. I've been watching this bear just kill pretty much everything that comes near it. Uh, and also, apparently bears will eat berries as well. I believe you use meat to tame them. And that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using uh, prime meat in order to tame the bear. But from what I understand, they're the first omnivore in the game. So we'll test that later, see if it actually works. But I'm going to try to bring this bear back to my base and tame it over there. Instead of taming it in this area because there's... There's too much stuff. There's like dillos and bugs and everything else. So we're going to try to yoink. We're going to grab the bear. And we're going to bring it back to my base and try to tame it up. Oh, man. Just found another bear. So this is a male. So I'm going to grab this one. Yoink. And I'm going to bring this back to... The little taming bin that I used to have. Oh, wait. Oh, is that another bear right there? Oh, my God. That's another bear. Is that a... Uh-oh. Yeah, they do They do get a little angry when, you, when you're carrying them. So you just kind of have to deal with that. Is that another bear? Oh, that is another bear. What is that one, though? I can't see. What is it? That is a... That is a Quetzal wing. That's what that one is. Hold on. I need to get a better view. Get out of the way, Quetzal. That is a level 68 bear okay so i think i'm just gonna grab this one i think this one's fine this one was uh what level was this one this one was 64 all right you know what we'll, we'll get the higher i'll get the higher level one why not whatever fine i'll grab the higher level one all right come on bear all right let's go all right, so in order to tame those bears, I'm going to need a lot of prime meat. And it just so happens that these Brontos have kindly offered to supply the prime meat. And I also decided to make a whole bunch of the trank darts because from what I'm hearing, uh, the bears don't have a whole lot of health. So using the crossbow and the arrows might actually end up killing it. So I'm going to try using the darts. Now, this is the first time I've used the darts on anything while on this version of the server. Oh, yeah. The other thing is, is because they're... Uh, because they're now mate boosted, it's going to be a little bit harder to kill them. So I'm just going to shoot. Oh, you know what? I should have shot, shot him in the head. I shot him in the butt. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> it just took a, it just took a big, uh-oh, God. Ah. Uh, hey. <laughs> as long. Uh-oh. 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 Um, as long as it can't climb. You know, bears are supposed to be very good at it. <laughs> Stop wrecking the place! Uh oh. Uh oh, there goes the walls. Ooh, no! 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 Stop it! Stop it! Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. What's, what's the damage on that one? Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, maybe I should have replaced. Oh god, it's gonna tear it down. Oh, it's gonna. It's so gonna tear it down. Oh, I think I just missed. Uh oh. Um, let me try to. Oh no! Oh, it's tearing it down. I gotta. I gotta lure him away from the wall. I gotta lure him away from the wall. Hey! Hey! 
Oh god, it already took down the wall. Uh oh, uh oh, this is gonna be a bad time. This is gonna be a bad time. Is that bear? Okay, that other bear is. Oh, oh man, this is gonna be bad. Uh oh. I probably. I probably should have planned this a little bit better. Oh, oh, the bear is loose. The bear is loose. The bear is loose. And thankfully, it's stupid. Okay. <laughs> it's trying to free the other bear. Oh, God. Dude, how many... Uh-oh. How many shots is this gonna take, man? Hey, hey. Oh, God. Oh, oh, it's... It's running. That's actually a good sign. That means that it's, uh... It's about to drop. That means it's about to drop. Just don't go in the water, please. No, no, no. Don't go in the water. Don't. Don't go in the water. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Fuzzy butt. Go to sleep. Oh god. No, nope, I'm dead. That didn't quite work. All right. Try number 2. Phase phase 2. I'm going to grab this bear because this one should already have quite a bit of torpor up in it. So I'm going to drop this thing down here into the little pen down here. And I'm going to see if I can quickly knock it out. So it looks like it's still running away, which means it's still got a high torpor. So, I should be good as long as uh, I keep a little bit of distance from it. I think it can reach. Can it reach up here? I don't think so. Where, where is it? Where, where'd it go? I can't see. Oh, there it is. Come on, fuzzy butt. Will you just go to sleep, man? Just go to sleep. Go to sleep. I can't get a good angle on it. Quetzal, you're, you're kind of like in the way. Quetzal. Uh-oh. Oh, finally. There we go. Okay. That actually took quite a bit. That took quite a bit. So, hmm. I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to try to trank it up a bit while I'm on the back of the Quetzal. And then what I'll do... What level is that one right there? That, I think that's a low level one. Yeah, it's only level 8. So where's the other bear? Okay, there's the other bear. So I'm going to stay in the air. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring the bear and I'm going to drop it in here. And we'll just put that down right there. And we'll close that. And then let's uh, whistle passive to everything. And I'm going to see if I can trick the bear into just trying to attack this wall. Yeah, okay, good. So while the bear's busy fighting the wall, I'll just keep shooting it. And then once it gets to a point where it's uh, pretty close to going to sleep, I'll just grab it with the Quetzal. And I'll drop it in the other pen. And then I'll tame it up that way. I don't know how much torpor these guys have. I probably should have checked the other one. Oh man, I hope it doesn't wake up. What's... I'm trying to check the, the health of the wall. Oh, that's weird. Yep. No, 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 hit the other wall. Go ahead, hit... Hit, hit the undamaged wall. There you go. Oh, uh, it's running. Okay. It might be, uh... Okay, it, it's running. All right, all right, all right. Let me let me grab the Quetzal and uh, see if I can finish it off here. Hold on. Wait, what? What the heck is going... Oh, God, Raptor. Come on. Really? Get, get out of here. I'm kind of busy. Stupid Raptor. Hold on. All right. Come here, come here, bear. Oh, good, good, good. Keep keep hitting the wall. That's fine. Keep hitting the wall. 
Oh god. I think I'm gonna put like two more darts into it and then I'm gonna carry it over to the other area. Alright. I'm gonna try and carry it over to the other area now. And hopefully it'll it'll go to sleep. It's probably gonna attack my Quetzal, that's fine, it's not really a big deal. Go to sleep. Hopefully the other bear hasn't woken up. I didn't even bother to check its torpor. So hopefully it stays asleep for quite a while. I mean, it's a bear. It should hibernate, right? Something like that. I don't know. Oh, good. It's running. Oh, shoot. I missed. Hold on. Let me shoot you in your big old bear butt. Or your head. Your head works. <gasps> Mm. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Crap! It's attacking the wall! It's destroying the wall now. No! It just wrecked my wall! What are you doing? Oh, man! Alright, well, it's finally, it's finally unconscious. Alright, come here. Come here, Quetzal. Quetzal, I hate you so much. Sometimes I really, really do. I really, really hate you, Quetzal. Okay, let me see here. Uh, let me check on this one real quick. Uh, it's still pretty unconscious, so I don't really have to worry about the torpor. That's good. Uh, how is my equipment doing? I'm... Oh, wait, I didn't put my clothes back on. Well, I don't have a shirt and I don't have pants, so... I guess, uh, I guess that's the way we're rolling right now. All right, I just threw a whole bunch of prime meat on this first bear. And it is now at about 40 or so percent. And I've got a whole bunch more on there. Uh, let me get a little bit more, just in case. Uh, the torpor seems fine. Like, I don't think I really even need to mess with the, the narcotics on the bears, really. Because it still has, like, what, 75 percent or so? Uh, of the unconscious thing and it's not really going down that that fast actually you know what i think would have been interesting is if they had made the the dire bears go into like a kind of almost like a hibernation so like when you knock them out like they like their torpor would drop like extremely extremely slow that would be cool i mean it might not completely work in the game but i don't know it would be neat like if you just like Put them into like a, a forced hibernation mode. That would be kind of cool. Anyways, so that one is now full on food. Let me get a bunch of stuff in here. So we're going to throw a whole bunch of the raw prime in here. And you know what? I'm just going to put all the rest of this on here. Or at least a, a bunch of it. That should be more than enough to fully tame that out. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to put all the rest on here as well. I don't really need to. That should be plenty, plenty, plenty. But, uh, you know, why not? Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're just going to put all of that on there. And then, while I'm waiting for these two bears to tame, I actually want to make the saddles. And the saddles are actually pretty cheap. And they don't require... A, uh, they don't require a blacksmith or a fabricator or anything to make them. You just make them in your inventory. So it's 300 hide, 130 fiber, and then 100 cementing paste. So I can actually just go ahead and make both of those right now. I'm waiting for the bears to tame out. And I came in here to get some meat for my RG, but... Listen to that. Like, the sound effect is... The sound effect is different. They changed the attack sound for the RG. It's like a kind of like a dunk, 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 dunk kind of noise. That's really weird. All right, it's getting pretty close. 
I never even had to put any narcotics on this thing. Like, the torpor goes down so slowly that I never needed to. So, just knocking it out. Actually, so with this dire bear, I was able to knock it out and then leave it there while I went and knocked out the other dire bear. And then when I came back, I started taming it. And I never even needed to put a single narcotic on this thing, so... The Torpor for this is actually pretty good. Like, a lot of the stuff that they've been adding to the game requires, like, hundreds and hundreds of narcotics in order to get the thing to, like, tame out and stay unconscious and stuff. But the bears, they're just, like, whatever, and they just stay sleeping. Right? Oh, there it is! Dire bear. You have tamed a dire bear. Blub and it just pooped. Okay. Was that was that the bear poop or was that me pooping? That was that was the bear pooping. Okay, good. Alright, well let me put the let me put the saddle on it. There we go. Nice. You know, with this type of uh saddle though, I don't think the like, the T-Rexes and stuff, like, they all have the same kind of, like, mouth bite on the saddle. And it just makes me think that it would prevent them from actually biting down, like, if they needed to attack something. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Well, what's the timer on this one? All right, that one should tame out, I think... Oh, man, these things, they stomp the ground. Like, even, even the dire bears stomp the ground. They're not even that big, and they still stomp it. All right, there it goes. Nice. We got it. We got another one. Two dire bears. Awesome. Okay, so let me stop both of those. I'm going to put them both on passive for right this second. And I'm going to put the saddle on this one. All right, awesome. All right, so let's test the bear out. So when I originally read about the dire bear... I think it said something to the effect of it could sprint for almost forever. But it definitely loses stamina as it's running. So if you look here, you can see that the stamina is going down a little bit. Uh, maybe it just recovers it like really, really fast or something that allows it to go for a very, very long time. But it, uh, it definitely loses stamina as it's running. Oh yeah, and in case you're wondering... Hold on. In case you're wondering, it does actually have a right click and a left click. So, hold on, let me show you here. So, if you do the left click, it will bite. And if you do a right click, it hits with its paw. So, let me check to see if that actually does anything. Uh, I don't know if, um, like, a right click is going to do more damage or if it's just, like, a, an AoE type deal. So, both of them still gather. Let me try... Let me try going over to the trees and stuff, see. So, left click... Oh, okay, so left click does collect berries and stuff. Oh, it also collects fiber. Oh my god. Look at... Dude, look at how much fiber it's getting. That is a lot of fiber. Uh, left click does not seem to collect any wood from the tree. Uh, right click does not either. So I think it's, they're probably the same thing, but, uh, it's just, it kind of like looks different. I don't know. Maybe it has uh, an AOE. By the way, if you notice, it's eating the berries. So this is an omnivore. So it will eat meat and it eats the berries. So that is definitely confirmed on that one. So let me head up here because... There are a ton of the small little bushes up here, and I'm going to try to use the bear to collect lots of fiber up here. So let's try that. See, there's like a ton of these little bushes right here. So let's see here. Wow, that is a lot of fiber. That is a ton of fiber. Oh, man, look at that. That is pretty cool. I could use my uh, my moose to come in here and collect all the thatch. And then I could bring the bear in here and collect like a ton of fiber. Look at that. I already have 1,500, 1,600, 1,700. 
1,800, almost 2,000 fiber. Like, I'm just walking around and attacking. I haven't buffed the, uh, the stats on this thing at all. And we're already at 3,000 fiber. That is crazy, crazy good. Oh. Oh, oh. You can... Oh, my God. You can collect it while running. Oh, that is so awesome. You can collect the fiber while running around. If you right click, then he stops to, uh, then the bear will stop instantly to attack. But if you left click, it just bites the fiber as it's running. That's awesome. So it's, it's just like, uh, it's just like the moose or the mammoth or, or the other stuff. Like, you can just collect it while you're moving around. That is pretty cool. Dude, that is so much fiber right now. I just collected another 2,600 fiber. That is a ton of fiber right there. It also does a pretty good job of grabbing the berries, too. Well, Poopy the Mammoth might have to retire because this bear can definitely collect a lot of berries, a lot of fiber. That is pretty awesome. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! I left the area! And the baby... Oh, that's poop. Oh, no! The bear's in the floor! Um... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. I need you to move! Mama! Mama bear! Get it! You're on the baby! Get out of the way! Oh, God. Oh, God. Here's the baby. Okay. Uh, cancel, cancel. Yes, 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 yes. Take food. Oh. Whoo. Oh, that was close. Okay. So. All right. We got... We got a baby bear. Um... Uh, all right. Oh, man. I, uh, I bred the, I bred the two bears, and then I brought the T-Rex out and about in order to, uh, g like, collect meat and stuff, and I wasn't paying attention, and then when I came back, the, the baby bear had already been born, so, whew. Oh, man. That was, uh... That was, that was pretty close there. That was, that was pretty close. All right. Whew. I don't even know. What what was his health at? I didn't even catch it. It was like in the poop. It was like under the ground in the poop. So it was taking after it was taking after Poopy the Mammoth over there. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, you know what I wanted to check, though? I wanted to see if I can feed it berries as well. Like, I want to see if the baby bear can live off of the berries so i'm gonna put the berries on it and then i'm gonna take off oh look at that you know what oh that's cool it does eat the berries it looks like the bears prioritize berries before the raw meat so after this stack of berries is gone it should start eating the meat And, oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Oh, you know what that means? All right, so you could actually put berries on a bear, okay? You can put berries on a bear in order to keep it fed, right? But if you're using the bear in combat... You use the meat in order to heal it faster. Because using the raw meat will heal a heal an animal faster than using berries will. So you could actually have both of them on the bear. And it will normally eat the berries. But then when you engage in a fight and you need to heal the bear real quick. You can just, you know, remote use the, a stack of uh, raw meat real quick. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. Well, I got a baby bear. Got a baby bear right here. All right, guys. One more thing I wanted to show you. If you left click, you bite. Right click, you do the paw swipe. And if you press C, it does the roar. That's pretty cool. So that is going to be about it for me today. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you 
hit that like button and subscribe because there's lots more content to come. Thank you for watching. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault.